back for more Valheim. And I believe it's day 100. Woo! Let's just ignore the May death it took to get here. How many have we got? One, two, three. over there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Apart from that, everything went perfectly fine. Oh yeah, so last time I built the little uh, cooking thing, what I was trying to do was uh, test out my awesome new weapons and get more iron because you just always need more, it never ends. Actually, where do I leave the stuff for the boat? Ah, it's here. Good. And I've got enough food for a little bit. We're looking at getting some iron armor, I think. Uh, which portal was it again? Oh, yep, it's the explore one. Yeah, good, I didn't leave anything in the chests. Oh, wait a second, yeah, hang on, I've got two natural food, that's not right. I need more animal food. Oh, and the turnips are grown. Yay! Upgrades. The, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Aha, this thing. They've only just grown, yeah. Hmm, have I got all this stuff? I think so. Carrot and five mushroom. Pretty confident I've got that. Aha! And of course I gotta go and grab one more mushroom. Luckily, if I remember correctly, some grow like right outside the base. Actually, I think it was down that way. Oh no, here it is. There we go. Can't be very pleasant putting your head through a fence. Whoa, jeez, dive bombing seagull nearly whacked him in the face. Dang it, I can't attach to the. That's annoying. Dang it, I just want to be like this sort of open staying thing. Now I've got to do something with a wall. Hmm. That's slightly annoying. Try doing a little stone thing. It's a spice rack, why can't you put it on a wall? Yeah. I think it's because it doesn't count the, um, whatever it's called, as a wall.
Yeah, the kiln's probably too round. That would make sense. Does this work? No. Dang it. I'm guessing here is too far away. You see a place near the appropriate crafting station. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I can extend the roof and hang it from above. That might work. Don't tell me it's slightly too high, that would be so annoying. Supported, okay. Uh, hmm. That's annoying. That's cool. Okay, what if we try um, one of the bigger beams? Yeah, that would look cool. I suppose worst case scenario I can always do a cross beam like this. That's a probably not gonna work for the same reasons. Yep. Okay. Sides of this considered to be placement? No, they're not. Hello, not Mr. Fun. You joined me trying to place the spice rack. <laughs> the problem is it doesn't attach to like the sides of any of these things. And even if I suspend it from there, it's too far away. And if I place a block to drop down, it's then not support enough. I mean... I don't want to place a big beam across, plus this is kind of asymmetrical ceiling anyway. And the problem with wood is, yes, it works, but it also look kind of weird if you've got a fire with wood walls around it. That seems rather unsafe. That's why with this it's all stone and then the wood's quite far back from it. Yeah, might place some it. Oh, wait a second, can I This can I then attach it to the underside? I'm guessing not enough height. Although it's gonna work. Have like a little post. Aha! I think it's just the wood being so close to flammable bits is the thing I don't like. 
three haven't got much space here. I mean, I can move this a bit further this way, because I don't really need this walkway bit. I've already got the path through the middle and round both sides. Uh, I think that might work, actually. Let's move you a bit closer. Try to place wood pillar on stone under roof. Mm, maybe. Flatten this bit of terrain so I can put it as close as possible. Ha! Huh. So, there. And chuck the grass back. I like how I say I worry about putting wood next to fireball things, and then I have all this grass right next to flaming kilns and smelters. Wait a second. I just moved the wrong one, didn't I? I just moved this one closer. What am I doing? <laughs> I want that one to stay there and move this one. <laughs> Hello, Dominator. Okay, put this one as close as possible. Someone having to constantly replace the burned grass around the kilns with fresh ones, yeah. Could have a garden do it. Okay, that gives me a little bit more space. And you can still sort of walk through if I just move the uh, chest slightly. And once again, I'm going to have to level ground and then clear it. More grass. Okay, good. I can still walk through. There's still a path around both sides. Nope. Fix that. Okay. Let's see if this looks a bit better now. Mm. I think the other way worked better where it was higher than it is wide. I considered beaming from the roof, but the problem is it adds this weird bit that's sticking out from it. And the other issue is uh, it's not considered supported. I'd have to make the whole roof bit longer. No existence. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. It's making this space even busier visually. Let me see, I don't have anything else I could attach it to. <laughs> yes, BS. <laughs> the joys of 
Twitch notifications not working. I need to find a bigger place for a kitchen. Hmm. So I still have, yeah, the outdoors cooking in the cauldron. I mean... Now that I've got... Now that I've cleared out the fence, I could put it over here with this space. Have larger starting iron there and still have to cramp stuff in the base, yeah. So I get for having all these walls. So I should probably at least replace the dirt around here. Right, probably don't need that anymore. I'm planning to go off the roof again. Oh, sounds like someone disagrees with my choice of base location. Can I do the same thing with stone? Hmm. And is it considered supported? That's probably the better question. So I might actually be able to use the little arch bit. Noise complaints from the locals again, yeah. Huh. Okay, that's badly off-centered, but... There. Yeah, I think I prefer that. The, I definitely like the having the curve bit on it instead of just a normal 90 degree turn. And that it kind of blends in more with this bit before it becomes uh, that mix of wood and stone. Thank you, LC Star. Uh, wait, so what's all the cool new stuff from cook? Black soup, just need you know, turnips and blood bags. Aha! Sausages, by far the best food in the entire game. You're only missing Maui head between them, so maybe. Muckshake. I find, regardless of what I'm playing, I always end up doing sausages just because they tend to be the easiest to get. Uh, but then I would have to start killing the poor boars and waiting for them to breed new ones. But I mean, if I do that, it's pretty much sustainable. I just need to remember where some thistles are. from the end of the stone plateau from fire pit. Uh, I mean if I make if I make these taller then maybe my worry is then it's getting so tall that it's sort of blocking the view of the stuff behind it. Oh night time. Sleep until morning. Right, I do need to work on the inside this place at some point. <laughs> the way to the nightmare. Yes, the nightmare I died on day 97. <laughs> I'm sure that never happened. Hey, day 101.
Okay, so it's an entrails, bombing, thistle. Boar meat, uh, I've got a little bit of. Entrails, I'm pretty sure I've killed more than enough Draga for. Yep. That's what I get for auto sorting chests. I just need to mark somewhere that has lots of thistles so I can just come back to it. Although I usually pick them up when I see them. I don't think anything with sausages is in addition to giving so much health, um, as you can see, each one makes four, which is quite good. Um, I mean, I mean, I suppose I probably do need to start um, going through boars at some point. Because it's going to be the whole point of capturing. And why did I eat the mushrooms instead of the new food? I'm smart. farming everything because I used all my turnips to um make the uh, what's it called the spice rack which means I gotta go get some more uh, I think there is something you can do with the yellow shrooms the problem is a lot of those foods are something you've kind of got to go out and get as opposed to just happen to find. Like animal related stuff is okay but things like deer stew, various jams. Although, well, this meat sauce actually isn't too bad. It's like buying hollow for your last month. Kind of. I mean I can easily just find some more. Plus, the more food hopefully means less getting murderized in the swamp. Um, I mean, you can't really, there's no really way to farm nectars except next, just everywhere, I suppose. I only got one. Yeah, they probably uh, use the meads. Oh, yeah, minus stamina. Turnip stew is pretty good for stamina. I mean, if I do turnips, do and sausages, and then just have honey as the filler stamina one, that would be too bad. There we go. Much more health. It's rising. So what do I need for the um, skinning knife for animals? It's a cold. Ha! Huh. One thousand damage to tame creatures. Ninety-seven health. Yes. Two wood, four tin. Well, that's easy enough. I feel bad about doing this, but, well, I'll have to stop naming them. I won't, just won't be able to bring myself to do it if I give them all names. I suppose what I can do is keep, like, the in initial named ones, keep them alive. Yeah, honey's really not giving me much, yeah. It's giving me stamina, which is really nice.
Okay, so who's gonna survive the coal? I'd say... Which one was the first one? I didn't even know which one's the original. I think it's you? Pumbla. Time to draw short time to draw straws, yeah. Pumbla. Oh wait, no, the original one died in the first base raid, didn't it? That's what happened. That's why there's Pumba 2. Then Pumba 3. Rip Pumba the first. So I think, what, keep Pumba the second, Pumba the third, Pumbling, and Pumbla, I'd say. Because then you've still got all the different names. I thought I called the 2.01 after I had 3 and didn't want to call 1.4. Yeah, there's Pumba 2 and 2.0, but I don't remember if I called 2.0 before 3. I think I did 3 first, because then I didn't want to call the next one 4. Do we need stag break at the moment? That's just used for fighting mobs. Um, I'm also going to need more food for them if I'm going to want them to make more boars. Uh, I'm trying to remember if the yellow shrooms work or not. I know raspberries do. Yeah, for some reason they did. They don't eat the yellow ones. They like the rest, just not the yellow ones. Do not push knife kill just need to enable PvP? No, it's a trap. I think strawberries are something that are easy enough, like strawberries, raspberries, there's a bunch like right around here. So if you ever need more, they're easy to get. No, I'm gonna have to do it. I feel so bad. Uh... Sorry, 3.0. <laughs> Hang on, I might have tried to lure the other ones away with the food. If you plant raspberries in the pen, will they just self feed? That'd be kind of nice. I don't believe so. So, Pumbling, Pumbla, Pumba 2, and Pumba 3 are saved. Uh, no, you can't plant rares, please, be enough. But yeah, there's definitely mods to do that sort of thing. Okay, so you four are staying. <laughs> you are the lucky four. Uh, just... I mean, that should be more than enough. Now I'm on the slippery slope to killing every boar. <laughs> Too late.
Well, I guess it's time for more adventures in the swamp. All right, bone mass. Do need to get around to that at some point. All right, should probably grab this one here. I right, already hear the sounds of combat in the distance. That's reassuring. Thirty-five arrows. Oh, and an angry leech. Leeches, multiple. Yeah. I like how the other two run off, and this one's like, "No, I'm going to keep trying to get him." Run off. Yes. Totally the correct term. Not all swimming. Oh no, what? Since when was that there? What? I've run past that place a million times. Uh oh. Oh no. D that's never been there before? Oh boy, where's it going? Apparently all the leeches that ran away turned into an abomination. Oh no. Yeah, fire arrows would be good. What the? Lure it to fire... Guys, that might work. Uh oh, looks like all the commotion here is... Nope. They're running the other way. Okay. Where's it going? I didn't make it spawn that close to the edge. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a lot of fire arrows. <laughs> The leeches are apparently really persistent. At least I know there's somewhere I can find that. Stuff for the roof, yeah, which is good. Slightly terrifying that it's somewhere I'd walk past a million times. I mean, you said that you fall, but have you seen how bad my dodging is? <laughs> Heroic running away is one of my best skills. <laughs> Plus, the other problem is it's now directly on my path back into the swamp. I just want to run all the way around. It's not going to be a better time to start. I mean, you say that. I keep dying. Oh, I just dump all this junk.
Jesus, where are you? You should have heaps of feathers. Yep. Take off all your gear. Take off all my gear and punch it with a fish. Best strategy. Actually, I might want to get some comfort back as well. Rest of bonus. Now wait for the slowest 30 seconds of my life. It's almost like he doesn't want to look at the camera. <laughs> nope. Guess I'm slightly invisible there. Let's go. Very shy of that Viking, I mean. Yeah, he built a massive wall around his house and then put a wall of trees around that wall. Now, oh, level 32 jump. Nice. Now, is he still here? Because I definitely think luring him into the forest, like, say, over there is probably a good strategy, actually. Now, oh, he's literally standing on the path back into the swamp. Lovely. Well. or trolls to help out. No, you don't. You're not running away that easily. Where's he going? Yeah, I do need to decorate a bit as well. Where is he? Where's he going? Is he going to fight the stuff that's over there? Nice, figured it out. I know. Come on, this way. I'm sure there's some friends over here you'd want to meet. I figured he didn't like to wander too far from spawn, but surely some enemies here will get his attention. So this is like the edge of his distance or what? further. Right. 
Oh no. Uh, thanks, Grey Dwarf. You can distract him. <laughs> There. Yeah, oh, that's night time now. Lovely. Actually, that might be good. More grey dwarfs means potentially more mobs to fight this thing. Also, potentially more mobs for me to dodge. But no, don't let him get away. At least they're difficult to miss. Oh boy. Ah, this multitasking fighting is making things a bit tricky. Especially gotta make sure that Abomination doesn't sneak up on me. Got him. No, you're not running away. Oh, no, please don't be out in the water where the leeches are. Get back over here. Oh, it's chasing a deer? I think it is. Oh, come back here. Yep, I think it's in pursuit of a... It's chasing a deer away. No. Yep, definitely is. <laughs> I think a poor deer just got pulverized. Almost got him. Yay, he's down. Oh my god. Aha! Perfect. It's going to be very useful for later. Got four pieces. Don't tell me I need five for the chest piece. I wouldn't be surprised. Now the dwarves arrive. <laughs> now the poisonous stinking blobs arrive. Got some more ooze. Just do this leech. You only got four. Yeah, it's only the chest piece I'm worried about. Because uh, it will come in handy later. Stuff back at base so I don't lose it in case a troll randomly decides to shop here. Chess piece, yes, totally. Um, how did a fish get? How bad did the fish jump? The fish jump out of the water, get all the way up here. That's quite an impressive leap or a serious uh, wave.
to the abomination push down. Yeah. yeah, the headpiece gives you poison resistance. Yeah, I want the chest piece for the um, piercing resistance. Yeah, I don't know what to do with bone mask, because it's like the easy strategy is, yeah, just a million poison resistance meads and then just stand on top of his thing and slowly sledgehammer him to get it. But that's not the most exciting thing in the world. Yeah, it is kind of annoying that fuelings use fire, but I think that's only some of them. The advantage is you don't get absolutely murderized by deskitos if you screw up an attack timing. Treehouse Methods build a platform high enough to be able to reach on indestructible train rain forest frost hours onto him. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, the way I'd learned to cheese it was just poison resistance potions and use sledgehammer or the sledge on top of his, um, like the little skull thing that's behind where you put the offering to spawn him. to think that, you know, this is not undercover. stuff under. Ah, you. Distant SPS, weak versus fire, and just weak versus fire, which is... I'm keeping him with the mace. Hmm. Ah, resist versus poison, yeah. Gathering resources for frost arrows killed me more times. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, seeds. Let's well grow some more stuff. There's nothing else. Oh, 
So back to the swamp or more decorating. I mean, my house could probably use um, a bit of improvement. <laughs> so. uh, yes, Coron Horn, it is. Unless there's another TFE who's also played Stationers in a group. Decorative stuff. I have. Um. Is that me giving birth? Because it sounds like one dying. <laughs> Ow. It's like concerning it just spawns out the back of one. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'm making huge gaps, I suppose. I don't want to run the risk of putting them too close together. Alright, fish. Which I was gonna use a cauldron. Oh, it's raining. Uh, so what decorative options I've got? Oh, better bonfire. Fancy banners. All right, special throne. All right, the armor stand here is comfort as well. Crazy guy, two so I guess I'll follow. Thank you. <laughs> um, this isn't really a place. I don't really want to put a bonfire inside. Alright, so if I, if I want to do like a circle around something, I just use par them because it doesn't change the terrain. So I can do this, place down the bonfire and then place the circle. Where on earth did I put? Alright, oh I put it under wood, didn't I? Yeah, ancient bark. That's fair enough, Corrin, if it's quite late. <laughs> There's no rules of entry that says you have to be constantly chatting. <laughs> Alright, ancient bark. So it gets to walk around it. I think otherwise it'll look a bit odd. And I might need to level this terrain as well. Like here. Okay, it's very picky about where it's replaced. There's a spot there. Because he likes yelling at everyone. <laughs> Having a torch on inside a pressurized area. Well, at least I didn't ignite it. Put it right in front of portals so you can burn any intruders that come through. So I gotta put it up here, otherwise, it's not under the uh, fence. 
kind of fence roof. Though, eh, I can just extend this roof out a little bit. Yeah, I still need to walk around it. I mean... Like, realistically, what I'll probably end up doing is just placing it down there and then chucking out this bit of fence. Especially as I never actually cl get cleared this boulder. It's fair to say he's hurting World Cap, I guess. That's a problem I didn't think of. Bonfire is a lot taller. Do you realize <laughs> enough to become the villain or do you die here? I guess what you do is just get rid of that downwards bit, just make it horizontal. How long till the roof burns, yeah. Good thing it's not like um Icarus. That's better. I definitely think just get rid of this bit. Don't really need it. I think I may did it to give me an idea of the size of putting the house in. Saw blade roof. Yeah. I'll probably figure something out for it. I mean, depending depending on what defines the center point, I might not need that out a bit. Does remind me, I do need to get rid of this though. It's only nice here, and it's roof here is replaced by TFC and corrugated wood. I'll change it, it's just a temporary thing. Okay, that's been dealt with. Maybe I should just keep it as a normal campfire. I'm not sure the um, extra comfort bonus is worth doing all this. Definitely need to stick the bonfire somewhere though. Yeah, it is a very big fire, which looks kind of odd with it being so close to the building. Especially like with this, you can just squeeze it into the corner, it's fine. It doesn't even need that bit. Yeah. Oh, braziers, that's actually a good point. Because 
for you, I could suspend from the ceiling. Pretty easy, just like hanging up here somewhere. Until I went to all this time doing these walls, and now I'm gonna have to make it bigger to fit even more stuff in. Base must grow. I was thinking of putting like an elevated walkway around the top. So I could do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think, okay, yeah, I think that brazier is the way to go. Two coal, one chain. Oh, bronze. Do I have you? No. Slightly inclined. Tin and. Well. Sounds like it's time for a copper mining trip. I also think it's about time I made a, a bit of pickaxe. I've got like yeah, six. There's too many things to do. Better tools, better armor, build up the base. What I should probably do is head back and check how much um, iron I got from that second crypt because I don't think I ever attempted the return delivery. I have no fire at all now because I'm smart. <laughs> Luckily, the piece of campfire is really simple. Yeah, yeah, I'm remembering the correct buttons. I'm not using the Shrouded controls like I normally do. Wait a second. Oh, hang on. Ha! Ah, sneaky. Although that would be hideously dangerous in real life. It's at least a stopgap. So for fancy brazier it was copper. So it was the return portal, I think. Aha! Here we are. Oh, yeah. 
heaps of copper. How much? Can I just carry all this? I, mean, I don't need that much. I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, let's use the card, and then I end up not mining enough and just running back. Uh, so it's this way. What? I ran into a tree hard enough for it to take damage. Cool. Here, I thought, I thought I cleared this crypt. Hmm. Might require an investigation. Maybe he just moved in. It's possible. Uh, it looks like everything's been cleared out. Just sprint through, see if anything attacks me. Looks clear to me. Don't tell me the skeletons will try to repopulate crypts. Star deer, I think it is. Why is it running? It hasn't even seen me yet. That was a million miles away. Why? That deer seems very confused. Ow! There we go. Random wild boars, I feel less bad about killing. <laughs> what? Ow! Right, inventory's full. Obviously, I'm carrying 38 copper. I run past. Oh, I was so confused for a second. I'm like, why are the shaman's eyes at like ground level? I'm like, oh, it's a neck. <laughs> I like how there's this big open area. It's being deforested, and then you can see where the replanting starts again. Oh yeah, I haven't checked how the um. Pine wood trees are growing. I it's going to be the farm. Now, oh, where were they? Yeah, oh, yeah, they've grown. Looks like all of them. Oh no. It's 
Some of them still haven't. Uh -oh. No, I'm not. Letting another mob trick me into destroying one of them. Not falling for it this time. <laughs> it just means things like the day cycle goes very quickly in Valheim. When that's just how long I spend trying to decide what to do with building. Wait, they're making even more! It just won't stop. I like how with the fire below it just looks like the basement's caught on fire. Horny balls. Yeah. Or more likely the balls are happy because they're not starving finally. Thank you for following, Mr. Germ Hunter. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, update the plane. I nearly forgot. That's what I was going to do, and then I got distracted by sleeping. Which sounds like a capac quote if I've ever heard one. Like staying at base is the best strategy to not die until another raid turns up. Oh, why didn't I load up the. Yeah, it would have been smart to, you know, load them up with coal beforehand. Go, meat. Back to the swamp to get all those dead certlings and steal their loot. More coal. I like how there's a door and I always just jump over the wall instead. <laughs> okay, can you please not spawn another abomination? Although, if it's right there, I mean, it's a good spot to farm them. Oh. That's slightly hurrying. Let's just set you on fire. Uh oh. Oh boy. I haven't seen many of these guys. Drago go. You just run off. I don't know what is up with these NPCs. Sometimes they charge for me, sometimes they just run in the complete opposite direction. Sometimes they just run around in circles. See means you need to move the door, probably. Yay, more Drago bits. Ah, lovely. Making sausages out of undead people's stomachs. It's worse than cannibalism somehow. All right, this, this was the swamp. You didn't pick those up. 
some of them like to circle around behind you. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that's cool. Very nice. The character is wet. Yes, obviously. And we'll just grab you. So I'm pretty sure I emptied this. No, I did not. Uh, let's at least move all this stuff out of here back to the temporary storage. Sneak attack. Dastardly skeletons. I feel like I'm taking a wrong turn somewhere on this path. Oh right, I'm supposed to be over there. Oh. Oh. Two star grade off. That's something to be slightly worried about. Get him. At least he should explode into a lot of loot. Kind of nice if there was like a backpack or something that gave extra slots. Because the problem is, even with the belt, you tend to run out of inventory slots before weight, unless you're carrying something really heavy like um, ores. D Apparently, being shot causes a blob to instantly jump. Leeches, I really should not be jumping into the water. Yeah, armor would be nice if it was just a separate thing. And even like some games will have like um, weapons as a separate from your inventory as well. I write all the stuff I chucked because I was running out of inventory space. A skeleton. Okay, thirty-six iron. I think I finished this crypt. If I did, I didn't mark it off. I think I might have finished mining it, but didn't mark it off, so I remembered to come back here. Pick up all the iron. I'm 36. I definitely think it's worth trying to find another one. I vaguely remember we might have spied one to the north somewhere. So here's the million leeches turn up.
Mob spawners, mob spawners, is that the... No, bone mass is still further. under there. Ha, huh, I think that's one. It's far enough away, it's definitely not a bone mass. It's kind of annoyingly far from the other ones, though. Uh, I'm just waiting for the inevitable abomination is right next to it. That's usually what happens. Route will be blocking the path? No. There is a certain spawner right over there, but that's. Oh! Hey, there's another one over there, I think. I don't know why I turned caps like on and off when it only supports all caps anyway. Ah, perfect. Enemies from only one direction. Oh boy. Oh no, can't stick up blobs. Yeah. Stay out of range of the poison. Let's deal with the blob first. The worst ones is where there's enemies on two or three sides and you just get rushed from multiple directions. Bone mass is literally like right over there. Uh, iron ish. So that's roughly where it was. Okay, what horrible things are waiting to uh, be behind this door? Yeah, they do a bit, not Mr. Fun. The noise that is made when mine doesn't help either. <laughs> Crafting Iron Sledge. I think well, I had a lot of things with iron, it sort of became, am I going to use it immediately? I'm like, well, probably not. Whereas, like, the 8 gear and the bow, yes, I'm going to use that all the time. The amount of times I end up just using the basic pickaxe part that I'm mining the pills I can just repair outside. Yeah, it's true, stay back where it lasts forever. As awesome as it is. Oh. I see their enemies. 
Oh, still figured it out. Surprise attack. Very disconcerting them hearing them all just behind the walls. Ooh, there he I think if I combine the iron from this place with the 36 I've already got with the other one, then at least give me a decent amount. Those bits from swimming into danger. Is over there. Shout for the angry sirlings. Hmm. I mean, to think whether I should um, turn on being able to portal all ores or not. Oh, she's trying to drag it. Because it definitely starts to become a bit of a drag on the armor. Where is that dragger going? I mean, they might want to circle around me, but that's ridiculous. They're trying to circle around the world when the world's not round. <laughs> oh, and they did all just so a skeleton trying to sneak up behind me. Ten wood and my inventory is full. Oh, he's back. Is he gonna run away again? The fact he's an archer as well is just annoying. It was the distraction for the skeleton. I mean, you think the skeleton would do the distraction when the drug is the one who can do a million damage. Okay, I'm not sure how much these flame arrows are actually helping. Let's try this. Oh, wait, what were the damage values that look pretty similar to me? So it was like 46.5. This is... Oh, 27. Okay, there is a difference. This is the worst jewel you've ever seen. <laughs> I 
I suppose the problem with having being under portal oars is a lot of it just becomes traveling in portals instead of, you know, exploring. At the same time, it doesn't take as long. I don't spend like, you know, 10 to 20 minutes here and then however long sailing back to base. Most of my um, sailing catastrophes has been on short range stuff, sailing around the island, funnily enough. D Wait, does that one just destroy the sailings naturally? I wouldn't be surprised. Sailing is... Uh, it's complicated with sailing being dangerous. Sailing is, da is only really dangerous when you're near the shore. Hello, Ranger. I don't know. Maybe I just don't like the aesthetic of the dark. The, the dark. Wrong way around. The sake of the swamp with how dark it is all the time. Or deep. The thing with deep ocean is, even with a carve, all you have to do to outrun a serpent is just have the wind behind you. And they. I think you're basically equal speed so they can't catch you. So many games on sale. Yeah, I looked at my Steam wish list and literally everything's on sale. And it forced me to go, okay, am I ever actually going to buy this game or not? I'm like, no, 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 take you off, take you off. Fine, I'll buy you. Five games have gone in the cart and then back out. Alright. Oh, no, I needed the roof to you know, be able to repair the pickaxe. It's the entire point of building the thing. Reminds me, I need to check the um. Actually, I forgot to use that. The um, I forgot what it's called. I'm trying to think if it's called Steam DB or if it's called something else. Um, it lets you like sort by the percentage of sale things are on. So you can find like you know, if there's some random game that used to be super expensive and you're only vaguely interested in, and now it's like 90 something percent off, it's easy to find. Subnautica concept, 14 equal. Let's just not run into the swamp randomly like an idiot and get murdered. I've had enough death to leeches uh, for a while. What do you mean station's too exposed? It's fine. This is totally secure and covered. Ah, yeah, that's the one, Ninja. Yeah, you can see um, yeah, what the lowest discount price is on it as well. Let's go to the other side. I, remember, I was surprised to see that I believe in shrouds on sale, which is kind of surprising considering it released only like less than two months ago. Especially now they've got the um, roadmap released on uh, Wednesday, I think it was. Oh, only 10%, yeah. 
I mean, a lot of games do that these days when they're in early access. They just give 10% off. Yeah, water, apparently. And animals and enemy raids and a whole bunch of other stuff. The, I imagine... I wonder if the water's going to be in the new biomes. Because there is, um... Law reasons for why there's no water around. In the current areas. Okay, now I can sit sheltered. Good. It is a big roadmap, although it's basically just a list of everything they're hoping to do this year. Based on the SE warning, oh yeah. Perhaps this way, yes. No, we're already clear that way. I think, eh, at least for Entrouded, the, eh, I suppose both water and the weather system are big things. Because currently, the way to fake water is to use the um, luminous block. Especially with the way it glows at night, it looks quite cool. There's a region, reason you carry cold to enter a dungeon, because I'm too lazy to swap over all my gear, basically. <laughs> I just bring everything. Like, I'm still carrying the butcher's knife. <laughs> of course, I do that and then complain about the lack of inventory slots, which the two might be related. <laughs> Plant some grass on the ground. I can even. Oh, I can't. So disappointing. Cave weed. <laughs> oh, that's it. Mob spawn. Right. Oh no, not blobs. I hate blobs. Let's see, I'm more scared of blobs than anything else because of the stupid poison. Go away. Oh no. No! Uh oh. Bad, 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 bad. Lack of stamina is also bad. No! <laughs> ah, dang it. Well. It's always a combo of dragon and other thing that gets me. Yeah, with poison, I mean, with poison you can drown after running away. Well, it's a good thing I have the better backup gear now. PLS my poison resist meat is a thing, yeah. Uh, where are we? Do I have better armor than that? I could have sworn I had some extra troll gear. I think I lost it. And then grab a single bit of food. That was very much not a single bit. It's very much the wrong button. Okay, just carrots. 10, 32, 10, 38, 35, 10, 30. Yeah, that's fine. I grabbed two lots of mushrooms. Dungeon Keeper's two dots. Yeah. Uh, 
At least it went better than the release of the, um, what's it called? Star Wars Battlefront remaster that they made worse than the original somehow. I don't mean the original was bad, I mean the original was released in like 2005. <laughs> oh, go away. Yeah, he dropped all the old classics. I'm guessing for me and Lenjet it was like, ooh, SimC 3000? <laughs> Reworster, yeah, pretty much what they did. I could get all the way over there, it's painful as well. Wait. Oh, it was up there. I was going to say, does not show the deaths on the map? Got to get quite a bit further this time. Uh oh. Ugh. Jeez. So it's going to be a slightly more dicey journey. Then got hooked on Satisfactory. Yeah, it's my first city in SimC. Did not do too well. Yeah, probably a pretty good idea. Oh boy. Wait a second, I'm not meant to be over here. Luckily I can deploy the time on strategy of just running faster than the enemies chasing me. <laughs> uh, how do I get over there again? You, I think. Oh no. The Giant path just over here should be a good way. Okay, let's see if I can sneak in and grab my stuff. Or, best case scenario, I can shoot them from a distance with really good arrows. Uh, which way was it? Do you remember? Is it had a mob spawner in it. Wait a second, this isn't the way I went. Maybe it was, I didn't mark the thing because I already got it. Oh, I'm at the wrong one because I'm stupid. <laughs> that makes more sense. Like, this doesn't look right. Oh, actually, hang on. Can I pick up some better food here? Uh, just some extra mushrooms. Put the other stuff away. Further north. Oh no. Thank you, backup tank. Yeah. Ow. Go away. I don't suppose that's going to work. Just telling him to leave. Luckily, I can still stang you. Dodge all the stuff that wants to murder me. Did I get over there? Alright, jump up here, down there, and then jump over here, I think. the path. I don't miss that. Yeah, so maybe a portal would have been a smart idea to bring with me. Yeah, there's nothing useful here I can use.
and there's just sirlings dying in the background like normal. Okay. Which way was it? Was it either forwards or to the right? Okay, it's to the right. Oh no. Well, luckily, hang on. As long as the blob doesn't follow, I can lure him away. Ugh. Oh, but then I gotta deal with the mob spawner. Okay. Oh, I killed the blob. That's good then. Okay, time to re equip all the stuff. <laughs> like I'm eating food while equipping my helmet. That's some serious multitasking. And put the better gear back on my main hotbar. Oh right, I ran out of the other food as well. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm getting the stuff for a portal and coming back here. It's far enough away from the entrance, so I think it's worth it. It's like basically twice the distance of that one. And it's reasonably close to bone mass as well. I think it's a worthwhile investment. Attention of a two star skeleton because why not? It's the normal thing that happens. Wait a second, why am I? Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh no. A what? Da! Aha! Um. Uh oh. They figuring out. No, they pushed each other up. Uh oh. Ow. <laughs> no one, no one told me they were getting smarter. Before they couldn't even walk in a straight line. Now they're climbing tree stumps. It's not fair. Oh, and I can't hit them from up here. So I could jump past them. So I land like over here. There we go. This is very much not the correct path. I definitely don't come out that close to the mob spot or something. No! I didn't change to swimming at a really inconvenient time. Past leech. Hey, now I'm back on the normal path. Actually, probably let's see if I get more settling cores. Pay off making the portals. Aha! Ooh, so we've got quite good odds, I'd say. One, two, three, four, five. Set myself on fire for a millisecond. It's all perfectly normal. I 
swear they can recognize where my paths are. They're like, nope, we're going to stand right in the middle of it. Jump over here, is it? And let's jump over here. Oh. <laughs> I guess, love to hide behind the trees as well. Now, now would be a really inconvenient time for the abomination to spawn like directly on the path. I oh, know, not the poison. Stay away. Yeah, now I've got a clear run as long as that troll doesn't spawn in. Why don't I hear something sound an awful lot like a troll? back through the portal as well. Yeah, I could have sworn I had an extra bit of troll armor, unless I'd lost it in the whole boating accidents and dying repeatedly. That would explain where they went. What's he playing again again? Oh yes, Brazier. I sometimes remember what I'm doing. So it was five bronze. So it should be ten copper and five tin if I haven't forgotten the recipe. Coal and one chain. Uh, chain I should have from killing a wraith at least once. And I was about to say coal was something I had, but then I remembered I kind of used it. Oh yeah, uh, balls making distress noises. You're fine. Still having more. Yeah, so sadly, all the ones that are just called boar are um, on the chopping block, unfortunately. Wait, yeah, there's definitely more kids than. Because I only killed what? No, I guess I only killed two or three. Really? 
rename them to bore me. I just think I won't name them because then it feels it feels bad killing them if they have a name. If they don't have a name, it's less personal. Probably actually, you know, try completing this section of roof as well. <laughs> they have a limit of six in there, apparently they like to stick on one corner, new ones wanted the opposite. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. They're also in the middle before. Well, I guess because I spread them out with where I chucked the strawberries as well. Okay, hey, brazier coming up. And I'm too far away from the forge, aren't I? Requires more stuff. Didn't think of that, and I don't want to move it from where it currently is. Luckily, six copper I have. Four stone and ten wood is enough. Hopefully that's enough stuff. And just pack it down here. She can be more than enough coverage. Yeah, where do you want to hang it? Middle bit, I think. Yeah. It's more like it. And we can get rid of you now. What? I'm getting smoked under here. Uh oh. Hang on, I can sneak out. Aha. No, it's raining. Why? But that was all nice. It does feel like it rains a lot. Which is slightly annoying. Okay, let's see if we get this roof figured out. Knowing my luck, a uh, troll raid will start in like two seconds. Luckily, we've got plenty of arrows. Uh, if I correct me, the problem I was having was with this corner. But it wasn't attaching like that before. Hmm. Conspiracy, I say. I don't need too much higher, especially as it can't support itself. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that corrugated roof look as much as possible, but it is me, after all. Uh, core wood might be required here, I think. Just seems like a little bit of extra support. Okay, slightly too high. Not can 
Let's see, it's support. Is it support under the floor is an excellent question, and the answer is probably not. <laughs> this needs to be fixed. Uh, can I see it? I can't. There's enough way to do that, though. Attach you. And then, quickly, before it breaks, attach you. Dang it! Let's just merge part way into the other end. That's not what I want. Suppose I'll just have to take the lazy option and do this. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it. Any help? Okay. Aha, now you're looking happy. Ish. Oh. I'm not on near the end. Wait a minute, the, are the boars having even more kids or are they just making more distress noises? It's very difficult to tell sometimes. One. Oh, there's another piggy. It's getting slightly flooded. Uh, the, and a seagull for some reason. You know seagulls and boars got along so well. Now that looks a bit more cosy. Just ignore the um, slight bits of rain coming through at an angle, it's fine. It's just um, some air conditioning. Totally. What a storm though, yeah. Let's just go away, please. And before I forget, I will update the counter. Oh, wait a second, I died, didn't I? Um, so it needs to be reset to... Actually, it's zero, isn't it? I think. Or was it one? Jump into deep water just to make sure numbers are right. Yeah, you guys can have a little spike in the corner. I'm suspicious I'm going to need more supports, however. Oh, I can check down my last death marker. That is a very good point. Day 104. Uh, except I don't remember what day it said it was. I think it said 105? <laughs> I discovered the fatal flaw with this plan. It requires me to pay attention. Oh no. Go 
get outside. There's a calendar mod. Ow! Close the gate! Quick! That's the angry raid. This is where the eight gear comes in clutch. As long as there isn't Draga archers. Okay. So down here I'm considered within the raiding area. Good. I don't think any spawn over the other side of the base, although they could have. That'd be really bad if they managed to break inside. Oh, well, it seems like the spikes are doing their thing. Ow. The mobs hiding inside each other. Okay, kill the archers before they become a problem. Alternatively, whack you backwards into the spikes. <laughs> yeah, I do have some defensive tricks, that's good. Since you're not getting many dragon which is going to be slightly worried that they're over the other side. Yeah, the fact that boars are making distress sounds has me slightly concerned. But I can't really investigate right now. Ow. Okay, gotta deal with the dragon. I mean, I imagine skeletons at least, it'll take a while for them to break in anyway. I guess not Mr. Fun, that is um, a rather significant typo. <laughs> yes, the um, the game that has a name that rhymes is something like Black Shadow. <laughs> Definitely heard a Draga that I'm not fighting. Oh boy. Oh, or it's you. Hopefully it's just you. Maybe raiding out for the first time ever. As opposed to raiding in. Uh-oh. I hear something trying to break in. Um... What? I really hope all the drag- all the- them are like hiding in a corner. Oh no. If they killed it through the fence, I'm going to be incredibly annoyed. Tell me they actually shot them through the fence. They would just be cheating. Whew. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, it looks like they're all okay. Although they're all understandably rather spooked now. <laughs> and I don't blame them. How'd they even spawn there? I thought. Oh, did I get rid of the workbench? I had workbenches along here to stop them spawning. And, um, either I got rid of them or... I forgot. Either option is not very really smart. Uh, it's just... I mean, about placement, this is fine. And just put that one like here. I could have sworn I had one here for placing the boat outside. I'm guessing it maybe got destroyed. Yeah, torches would be easier, that's true. Alright, chuck this loot away and then back to more building before I got distracted by attempted murderings. It's a 
gave a decent amount of loot. Wasn't it? Loss per se. Now, back to figuring out this pesky corner. Uh, I'd assume they do LC star, because I'd assume it's just dependent on the block existing rather than the being active. Yeah, but I could be wrong, of course. Hmm. This roof. I'm tempted to just do like a little wall inside a wall sort of thing. Just a bunch of build pieces with base tag. Yeah. It would certainly be a simpler way of doing it than having it constantly check if it's on or not. this and angle it back downwards. That might actually be the way to do it. It's a bit weird, but whatever. I mean, I say it like this entire base isn't weird. is how this looks from above. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to see it from above exactly heaps of times, but oh, at least look decent. Yeah, that's not too bad. Just look kind of jank on that corner though, but No more janky than the rest, yeah. Very true. No, that'll poke through the ceiling due to the different height. Dang it. So I'm going to do it at the peak point. So here. No, that's slightly off to the side as well. Well, wait. Uh, I can't tell if that's... It looks close, at least. covered.
You know what? Not as bad as I thought it would be. This bit I'm eh, not so sure about. worth extending out from the other roof. If I could like drop it downwards like this. I mean, do this I can get rid of the big X. Hmm, works for that corner but not so much for this one. Uh, this is, well, I suppose this is what I get for doing fiddly shapes that are weirdly asymmetrical. Aha! Uh -huh. This bit's annoying. I mean, can I just like put something here to hide it? That might be the best way to do it. Yeah, that's actually somehow works surprisingly well. He's just going to need a bit of fiddly placement to cover this bit. Alright, it's just attached to the side, which should be easy enough to do. Just remember that this bit gets steeper. Ah no, I can't jump down there now. Ah, that corner's still kind of jank. No! Oh, I still can't make it up. Dang it. Uh, I can attach like that, but then it uh, sticks out the end, I believe. Let's have a look. Oh! I can just get up over here. Well, that would have been a lot easier, though. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. What about just the beam? If I can be... I can't, like, merge it. Like, a half-length beam would be nice. I suppose the alternative is just run the beam through the wall intentionally and run like all the way out here. It's like a sort of support thing. Use a half beam horizontally, then use it to snap roof to. Mm, maybe.
Well, how about I just do this bit first? Just need to get rid of that bit. Whoops. Just run this across. Then I should be able to drop it down, I think. Ah. Could have, it would kind of break it up a bit more, I think. Your ways are looming, at least it's better than corrugated wood, yeah. Now, really? Let me guess, I don't have more. Ah, dang it. Ah, hello, Black Shadow. That's kind of ironic timing because I was talking about raiding you. <laughs> Yes, evil. <laughs> You're too slow for you not to initiative, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I was probably still gonna stream for about another half hour or so anyway. Of course, I go out tree cutting, it instantly becomes night time. The game is mean enough to have me run out of wood right as I was about to finish building. Ah, just another trigger two should be enough. How else are you gonna hide your crimes against nature? It's hiding behind a massive line of trees. I mean, the mobs around here definitely complain about my um, crimes against nature. Now oh, the shadow of night time, you just hide it. I'll just stare at a tree so no one has any proof of what I did. I was a bit worried with that follow for a second, I'm like, is Shadow's soul a separate person? <laughs> Black Shadow is multiplying. Yeah, the brace is so much nicer than just sticking a fire outside. T 
too many shadows, yeah. <laughs> Zim is off so lots of times, that's a bit harsh. I'm actually thinking that Blackjack's probably interested in, which is my horrific crimes against roofing that I'm trying to fix. Yeah, this is what I get when I'm trying to merge two lots of roofing and get together when only one of them's asymmetrical and they're not evenly spaced apart. I think it's almost worked, I just need to... A bit poking through the wall is kind of annoying. You could also be half block instead. Yeah, roofing's especially not easy if you're stupid like me and try to do as asymmetry. And <laughs> something that comes up that needs my immediate attention totally is an excuse to look at this cursed construct here. Yeah. Okay, I think for the most part this looks. Oh, I'm just gonna do this side without ah falling off. That's not a problem I'd thought of. Building platform. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You've summed up many of the things I built. It's like, surprisingly, it looks decent. It's fine, there's ample corrugated thatch, yeah. At least the other roof still has a Christmas tree, yeah. Yeah, the other one went surprisingly well, considering how asymmetrical it actually is. This corner's a bit annoying, but yeah, the rest of it works surprisingly well. Plus I have the little air holes. I'm actually going to get myself killed just jumping off those. Just look at this, I'm like, this needs a support in the corner, it just doesn't look right without one. Needs air holes for the brazier smoke, yes, yeah, so you don't get suffocated in your sleep. Like, why is this... Um... Is it like hovering? Or is it... Oh, it's attached on the outside. It's not actually... It's only half mounted on it. Uh, have I got something for that? Yes, I do. This will make it look better. Now show for you to look less weirdly unsupported. Beam. They are vents, yeah. Can I actually attach to that bit? I suppose I have to just live with that. I mean, it's not too bad. It's like a slight overhang. It's much better than how it was before. Oh, right, I slept through the morning, so... Okay, so maybe one more little bit there. Mm, 
do I need to? I mean, it's just it's a tiny gap that you won't really notice it unless you're looking at it. If Viking warrior, carpentry, and construction are secondary skills. I'm not sure what that says about my combat skills with how many times I've died if that's my primary skills. I just don't mind some of these little gaps like let the sun in the morning. I kind of like it. I'm more surprised this whole bit actually worked with the weirdly sloped roofing. Don't quit the potato to become a roofer. I think maybe I should just do something sensible for this side. Even 26 degrees is too shallow. This thing to do is drop it down a level. There. Trying to move on these boxes is tricky. Problematic. If we wake up every day because of a sunbeam shining through a tiny hole in the roof. It's a natural alarm. It's perfect. I think I need to angle this downwards. Mm -hmm. Time for the multi layered roofing approach. Need to place the pen so it shines in your face. What if I can? Why is it? Okay, so it's less supported at this end. You also need more wood again. Yeah, all the boars are happy. We don't talk about what's going to happen to the ones that aren't named. Those are temporary balls, yeah. Oh yeah, have all of these grown now? I think they have. It looks like all the ones that are going to... Whoa! Um, I wasn't seeing things right, they just all instantly grew when I got near them. It must have taken the game a second to update it. Time to cut them all down then plant some new ones. Hopefully don't take out the decorative trees by accident. Ah, oh, dang it. Just it. Could be worse I named mine Barnum and Dad so I knew not to kill them. Well that does that works as well. I mean it would be a good time for Elder Buff, but the problem is I've got to, in my case, either build a portal over there, then go over to it, come back, or I can just keep cutting. I think if I didn't have to return to the starting area to change them, I'd probably swap them a lot more often. Just build a portal. Hmm, maybe a better axe is a good idea. I should probably disassemble this thing at some point as well.
No, don't hit the other trees. Not my decorative trees. Yeah, 9x would be a good idea. Just add it to the aisle. The aisle, yes. Add to the pile of eye related things I need to get. But yeah, if I'm going to do a lot more place building, it's definitely a good idea. Give me some time to plan what I'm doing next. No trees. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Tree had some good dodge skill, yeah. Made it perfectly on the incline to start running away. No, come back. <laughs> that's wrong the other way. They're learning. Can't do that. They've adapted, yeah. Well, they warn each other when I'm approaching. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot better with the tree ring around the outside as opposed to the um great barren open and bit of grass it was before. Oh, and of course it starts raining again. Why? I like the sun. They won't hurt you if you leave them alone. Trees start to randomly falling on my head when I haven't even cut them down. To remember to plant them as well. And repair my axe, which is always broken. Oh, jeez. Just don't go to forest during a storm. It's a good thing there isn't like lightning strikes that can knock down trees, because that would be a disaster if you put like a whole bunch of them near each other. Or if you build them really close to the base, the whole thing just collapses. Yeah. Made that mistake once, yeah. So I'm going to put all these cool trees next to my house and, oh no, I've accidentally cut them down or a troll's whacked them. Honey as well. Hmm. If we could plant some trees around this side on the shoreline. But I don't know if it'll let me and if they'd have enough space to grow. 
You know what? Let's try it. I have to help slow any would be mobs that try to spawn the other side. Find some mangrove trees, yeah. Ow, so I can't place it there, okay. Now, I also don't want birch, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna have enough space. Wait a second, what if I, um. Try to level this terrain out. Does this... Aha! Does. Useful. Can hopefully use that to push it out a bit from the walls. Seems like that bit's not high enough. I'm kind of ruining the naturalness of this shoreline a bit, but whatever. It's fine. It's for a good cause. Tricky. Just go here. Stand up as high as possible because it uh, levels to where I'm currently standing. There we go. Wow, oh, and then I've just got space in. It's fine. I suppose it does give me something to do with this side. Seeing there's not that much of interest out here. Is it the tree wall must grow? The rocks must die. Stone, yeah. Rockin' trees. <laughs> Not quite as catchy. Jeez, yeah, the amount the water floods it. Rockin' bark, <laughs> yeah. Well, that kind of just sounds like a dog. Rockin', rockin timber, I think, works, yeah. I'm very curious as to how this is going to look once the trees are grown. Because they're going to look really weird when they're flooded, or it's going to look amazing. 
And apparently they're perfectly happy with being underwater when... Somehow I don't think it would work like that for most trees. trees but definitely some. Okay, it's not quite high enough. Can I raise this? It's as far out as I can push it. Without doing unspeakable things to the terrain around here. I've already made some yeah weird jaggy bits. I'm just waiting for my character to randomly start swimming with how steep these tides are. Okay, rock is gone. Don't run into the spikes, because that'd be stupid. Push this one out as far as I can. Yeah. Well, the Grang's not even killed with the spikes, right? Oh! I haven't got a trophy before? That's uh, surprising. Ow! And of course I immediately run into the spikes. I knew it. I used to dodge them all the time and now I can't stop walking into them. Yeah, but um, as it's getting a bit late, I'll finish up here and see next week how all those trees grow. Uh, I'll be back Monday with more... Well, I assume it's going to be entrailed with Splitty, Kavak and Textfire. That's what's planned anyway. So, see you then. Bye.